Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Mats and tools are all sponsored by the following brands. So today we're painting this Horizon Zero Dawn Thunderjaw. This is a commission for Geekolodian Studios. I had to create a longer peg for the foot because I added blue foam as a base for this model. And I had to make it really sturdy because the model is really long. <laughs> so other than being long, the model is like a solid resin piece although the resin is a bit flexible but it's super heavy. A fair warning though, I kinda made a major mistake while painting this model and I hope not to get a comment again that I do mistakes often because I just want to share the whole process, I mean the experience of painting a model from start to finish. I'm not too focused on the look of the base because this will be like this will have a lot of tufts because I saw screenshots of the thunder jaw and the background is usually like nature and grasslands and stuff so we'll be putting a lot of tufts there later. Also, this video is perfect for those who doesn't have an airbrush or at least doesn't want to use an airbrush for painting a model. And this kind of shows that you don't really need an airbrush to paint bigger models, especially if you dry brush. So I highly recommend like buying a few sizes of oil paint brushes these are very durable brushes and should last you like your lifetime i see those fancy dry brushes and stuff like that and also i've used those cosmetic brushes they all work for sure but the cosmetic brushes they kind of wear down wear down too easily and you'll tend to buy more and more so i highly recommend these oil paint brushes this will last you very long also when dry brushing you treat it as basic layering meaning that a couple of layers or a couple of passes should give you a nice coverage also if you use more colors not necessarily paints you'll build up kind of like softer and nicer transitions a couple of layers or passes is very important before you change color because you won't really see the full coverage after a couple or three passes of the same color. Now we apply a quick white glaze all over the model to soften the dry brushing. You'll see here that the white glaze is kind of softening those rough textures because it kind of blends everything together. Now you could use an airbrush for this stage. What you do is you mix one part glaze medium and one part white paint. And then of course you thin that with my thinning sauce. And then you paint it all over the model or areas of the model that you want to glaze. Now this was my first mistake. I did sponge chipping at this stage because i thought the model will be predominantly white or actually during the painting of this model i thought the whole thunder jaw is just white so i had to do sponge chipping again at the end of the painting of the model but i did not record that on film already Oh, take note at the second pass of the chipping here i kind of applied more pressure to create bigger chipping. Now we paint the groundwork. As I've said earlier, I don't really, I'm not really focused on making the groundwork look really nice because this will be covered with tufts in a while. A quick dry brushing on a couple of browns and some wet on wet blending of some green colors. So I use a bit of retarder medium here and did wet on wet blending of the green paints. So wet on wet blending is like a technique used in oil painting so we just borrowed the term. 
Now here is the second mistake. So I'll guess, I guess we'll get a comment again that I make a lot of mistakes. But this mistake is basically because I thought, again, I thought that the model is predominantly white. But we had to add colors later. Thus, these washes will do it again much later in, not in the video, but much later in the painting of the model. Now we apply water effects. My daughter, I asked her to apply like around three layers last night before I went to a party. And now I applied a couple more layers. So here I just wanted to flex my drawer of Vallejo tufts. <laughs> so, but basically we had to use a lot of tufts. It's a matter of like combining different kinds of tufts so that we produce a semi-natural look to the base of the model. So I thought I was done after the tufts and I had to check and research a few images of the thunder jaw in the internet and I saw that the thunder jaw have accent colors. So normally I would put this model aside and would paint another model, a different model because of the frustration of not finishing it on time but I miss my wet palette so let's paint the accent colors. So we're doing glaring here which is like around two parts paint and one part glaze medium. This is similar to basic glaring. However, we're working with semi-transparent paints. Oh, I miss my wet palette because I've been painting with oil paints for red grass games the past couple of weeks. Also, I've been playing around with oil paints and even use my glass palette for acrylics with retarder medium. So I kind of miss my wet palette and it's always fun to switch with, with like tools that you use because it makes you feel like it's a fresh tool or a new tool and it makes the painting more fun. Now after glaring, we're doing a bit of glazes to soften those like not so smooth blending because glaring won't produce like the perfect blending for you but it will produce softer edges unlike just basic layering. I highly recommend you watch my other videos especially on glaring or glazing and the use of mediums for glazes because it's much easier in my opinion and it's perfect for beginners. Again, you could use an airbrush here to paint the red paint and then after painting with the airbrush, you could paint with the gloss white which is my fab white and then after painting the white, you paint the orange flow. So the red paint here is the OSL and then the white paint is the underpaint for the orange flow and the orange flow will give you that very nice glowing effect. Now after painting the accent colors, I applied a bit more chipping again with sponge technique and also did washes and ink washes to finish the model. So that's it Pansit, we're done and I hope you liked the video, I kinda included the like the building of the base, the addition of the pegs, the texture paints and everything because this was just basic painting. The accent colors was like the most complex of amongst all the painting methods used here because we did a bit of glaring and glazes to soften the blending. But other than that, it's like basic painting and a bit of weathering to finish with a good golden lemon level painting. Also, I hope you saw that you don't really need an airbrush to like paint a bigger model. However, to be honest, I painted with the airbrush in terms of the primer and of course the final varnish. So I was pretty happy with the result but it was kind of frustrating when I realized that the model has like it has some accent colors and I had to redo some sponge chipping and such but it ended up okay oh by the way i'll be creating a shorts channel soon which will include condensed version of all my painting that's it we're done i hope you like the video do like comment subscribe and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our discord community saludos